What's up guys, Michael here, and today I'm bringing you another Wix tutorial, and I think I'm going to start calling this also Wix for Beginners, a tutorial series, because all these videos are for beginners. So today I'm going to be bringing you a video that I thought I had already done, but actually after reviewing my channel, I had not done, and I have gotten several questions about it, which is how to create a multilingual website. So first things first, we're going to go up here to the app marketplace. And before we begin, I need you guys to know that I'm going to kind of show you in depth with this tutorial um, as best as I can. And I'll even show you some of the like learn more buttons that Wix has provided to show you because this can get a little bit tricky. Um, however, if you follow along, please ask me any questions in the comments if you have any and I will be more than willing to help you out. We're going to go up here. We're going to type in Wix language menu you'll see that right here Wix language menu by Wix it's an app by Wix you'll click add to site once you click add to site you'll see this pop up you drive that to wherever you think you need it um, wherever your visitors will need to click on whether it's Spanish French whatever it is but you drive this to wherever then we're gonna go into settings once we get into settings, you'll see the first step. It'll see welcome, set up a multilingual site in four steps. So the first step is duplicate your website's pages so you can translate them. So let me show you how to do this. So to duplicate your website's pages, what you need to do is you need to individually duplicate your pages. So for example, sunglasses, these three little bars next to it, you would click that and then you would click duplicate. Now, I'm just going to keep it right now, copy of sunglasses, call it done. Now, here's the thing. If you're translating your entire website and you're making a completely multilingual website for all of your pages, you need to duplicate every single page. However, if you are only translating certain pages, you only need to duplicate the pages you are translating into a different language as well to have it multilingual. So that's a very important key. I don't want you to go duplicate every single page and realize that you only needed to duplicate a couple pages. After you've done that, you're going to go back into the settings and then you're going to see translate pages. So for now, what you have to do is every page that you duplicated, you need to go into it that duplicated page and translate all of the content on that page into whatever language you're setting it as. So whether that be Spanish, French, Italian, whatever that is, you need to go in and manually translate that page. Once you translate that page, you're going to go back to settings. And remember, you translate every single page that you are need by our multilingual. So if that means you need your entire website multilingual, you'll have to do that for every page on your website. If it's only a couple, you do it for a couple pages. Now we're gonna come to a little bit of a trickier part and it says create menu. So remove your existing menu and create a new one with buttons. So there's different methods you could take for this. You could either completely remove your menu, which is what I already did up here at the top, which would work but essentially what you have to do is you need to add another menu for your uh, other language. So in order to do that, let me just take you back to the home page, make it a little easier. You need to create a button menu because these buttons are going to be links to the other pages. So let me show you. You would click add. Then you would scroll down to button. Once you click button, you'll choose whatever button you want to Whatever design you like, whatever you need based off of your website, you'll choose that. For right now, I'm just going to choose that basic button. You type in the name of the page on the menu. So we'll just call it home. And then right here, you'll see add a link. So this is where you would add a link to the duplicated page. So it says which page. And I would say copy of home. And then you could choose where it goes at the top of the page. Only if you have anchors, that's not even close to required with this. Um, that's a whole other tutorial. Anyway, so now you have your copy of home. You click done and you would simply do that for every single page you have on your website. 
and you could choose where you want this menu to go, how it looks, but you need to have this menu in order for you to be able to switch between multilingual um, and English or whatever or English and whatever other language or whatever language you speak versus English. However, you need to do that. You just need to make sure you create a button menu with however many pages you have or whatever pages you're making multilingual. So then we're going to go back into settings and then you're going to see you would click I did it and then you're going to see redirect pages. So to do this, now we're going to start. So it says redirect site visitors based on their browser language. Okay. So let's say the language is Spanish. English, you would select a page, call it um, home. Okay. Now you save that. Now Spanish, whatever. So if they, if they speak Spanish and their browser automatically knows that they are in Spanish, you choose whatever page they're redirected to. So in this case, we duplicated copy of home. That's the page that you translated. You would then click copy of home. And then they'll automatically go to that home page with copy of home. Now the reason you needed the button menu is because on that copy of home page, you need to have your button menu with all of your different pages that then take them to the other translated pages. I know this might sound a bit confusing, but hopefully you guys are following with me here. On your English one, you could have a whole other menu that have all of your English pages. After you set your redirect, you could go into your redirect settings. You could choose that the default language is English, whatever language you need default. I'm going to say English. And then right here, your redirect options. So you could automatically direct visitors by their browser language, which I highly recommend because that means it'll automatically go to the correct page that's translated or not translated based off of what their browser is set to. The other option is automatically redirect visitors for the home page only, which means they'll only be redirected to the home page of whatever language they are. And then finally, visitors can choose their language manually and that's by clicking on the language menu. It's completely up to you. I recommend the first one because I think it would be easiest on you. Finally, you have here your language picker. So this is like pretty much just the style of how, how this looks up here, how the flags look, the colors, the widget style, all of that stuff. Guys, that's about it for how to create a multilingual site here on Wix. Obviously, it's a little more in depth. It's going to take you time because you have to translate each page. But this is a very nice tool that Wix has created, this Wix language menu app, because it automatically redirects and it helps you step by step show you kind of like I just did, which was the point of this video, how to actually go about getting to that multilingual redirect step. And that's exactly how you do it. If this video helped you out, please drop a like down below. If you have any questions, which I'm assuming for some people you most likely will with this video because it is a little tough to follow. It's a very in-depth tutorial. Please comment down below. I'm here to help you. And finally, subscribe to me because I have a ton of exciting Wix content and I would really appreciate it and I'm here to help you guys out. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for spending a couple minutes with me. And I hope that I was able to help you just a little bit more on your Wix website. Thank you guys very much and have a fantastic rest of your day.